Hey, what's up YouTube? Thrift Hunter here with this week's garage sale and estate sale finds. I haven't made a video in a while, and I've got some pretty cool stuff that I've been picking up over the past couple of months. I uh, haven't really been to garage sales too much, but I get out when I can. Uh, so I've got quite a bit to go through, so we're going to go ahead and get started with that. So we're going to start out with some of the jewelry, and then I've got a lot of coins, a lot of silver coins that I bought. And uh, I'm just going to go through kind of what I've picked up. Uh, if you want to know what's going on and uh, a little recap update on what's going on with me, I'll put it in at the end of the video. You guys can check that out. So here's some of the jewelry that I've bought. I've basically had been picking little pieces here and there at some sales. Um, I bought a big bag of uh, costume jewelry and some of this came out of there. Um, so really nothing too crazy on the jewelry side, um, which is usually my main thing, but um, got a couple little things. So uh, here's a nice pair of sterling earrings. There's that. There's like an older silver earring there. Um, I bought this piece recently and I thought for sure it was going to be fake. You can see the marking a little bit on the ring. But I've seen these before. The, um, the links so one of the things I look at. The links here are, are kind of pinched shut instead of soldered shut uh, which usually you don't do on silver. But I tested this thing very, very thoroughly, and it's silver. Weighs about uh, 40 grams or so. Uh, got that for a couple bucks, so that was good. Um, sterling chain. Uh, here's some little earrings with onyx. I believe these ones here are 14 karat. I got those for like a dollar. Um, this is gold filled. This is a little Kremens, uh rose piece there. Um, little sterling pin, older one, pick that up. Some just kind of neater costume jewelry. A couple bags of these emeralds. It's like from a hotel, it's like a gift bag or little gift shop type thing in uh, Columbia. So, got a couple bags of those. They're interesting at least. Um, I bought this really weird necklace just because it had some nicer beads. So like, I really just wanted this bead and this bead. And that's where your money's at, is those, just those two beads. You can get like 10-15 bucks for those. But just some weird funky piece that somebody put together, so that was interesting. Um, oh yeah, I got... These are uh, 999 silver, so that's something. Um, nice, one of these sterling and uh, liquid silver type thingies. Got some earrings and junk stuck to it. I don't know, this stuff's all like little sterling stuff. Um, little shell ring, kind of nice. Oh, there's another bead. So, a lot of this stuff's just kind of random. This is a POW war medallion token thing. Nicely done. A couple of different sterling or earrings. There's a couple here that are gold. I know that these two are 14 karat little pearl studs. Um... Yeah, just little odds and ends. There's like a bunch of these. These are fake. Uh, amber. I'm pretty sure they're fake. I don't think that they're um, silver, but they're neat. Pick those up. Um, one of the best pieces in the little junk jewelry box lot I bought was this nice crystal sterling. And it's got a designer name on it somewhere, but it was kind of nice. Another... Uh, Sterling necklace, homemade kind of thing. And some sterling, little sterling spoon. And a kind of a funky 
retro uh, silver bracelet. So, uh, <clears throat> bought a box of cross pens. Buy these all day long. Bread and butter, five bucks. Um, those are the 10 karat gold filled. Missing the pamphlet, no big deal. So that, that's about it for the jewelry. And uh, we're going to move on to some coins and uh, other stuff now. Well, I almost forgot. I've got um, two nicer pieces that I found in here. I mean, I've got some little, little gold and pearl earrings in there, but two best things were these two. Hopefully you can see that. So this is a Golden West College with some little green stones. Um, that's marked 10 karat, and it's broken. And this was in a box of just uh, total, 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 total junk. But I'm not sure how well you can see that. But this is also 10 karat. This is a nice little cross. It's small, but it's got... Um, got some diamonds in it and they're real diamonds for sure um, it's a good one to like kind of learn on for for uh, diamond stones um, when you look into the stones like with a loop really well you can see and it might might show a little bit on camera but you can see the the carbon spots inside of the stone uh, when you look into it, these are pretty included stones, so you can see kind of the flashes of black that come through, and then when you look at it with the lube, you can see the carbon. When you're seeing the carbon, that's a good sign that it's a real diamond, because um, real diamonds are going to be included unless they're flawless, and why would you put flawless diamonds in such a small piece? So um, Definitely a good learning one, but still 50, 60, 70 bucks maybe for something like that um, this is <clears throat> pretty much scrap um, this part here isn't silver and then this part here isn't silver or, I mean gold um, so that'll detract a little bit from the weight plus a little bit of um, stones but still 40 50 bucks maybe a little bit more in scrap gold there this way is like four and a half grams and this weighs two grams so um, but I paid so I paid about 70 bucks for most of this um, most of this stuff I paid about 70 bucks plus I have a whole bag full of costume jewelry and I got this um, one gold pin <clears throat> out of it this I got at a garage sale um, with the, uh, the big silver chain the big uh, silver bracelet for five bucks probably together so um, yeah there's that stuff so next up this is probably my favorite piece out of this whole video that you're gonna see uh, this is something that I picked up uh, recently at the bank and uh, this is a hundred dollar bill with a special serial number uh, I pulled this personally out of the uh, strap which is a uh, ten thousand dollars of brand new hundred dollar bills so I know for sure that this is from the mint I mean as far as condition it should be uh, pretty much perfect and it's uh, what's called a super repeater uh, serial number and be pretty careful so let me get this adjusted that is serial number four three four three four three four three, four, three all the way across, uh, which is pretty pretty neat. Uh, it's one in a million, one in one point one million bills, uh, brand new. Something that for right now I'm keeping it. I don't know really what to do with it. Um, just thought that was interesting. So here's some of the coins. Uh, starting out, I got some. Just random foreign where I pulled uh, some other coins out of, but um, nothing too special in here. I know you guys want to see, so there's another weedy another nickel. And this stuff that I've gotten from um, coin roll hunting. So I've been uh, doing a little bit of coin roll hunting, and 
managed to pick up uh, some coins. I got more. So, mm, some of this came out of coin rolls. Most of it did. Not the half dollars, but um, a lot of this I got from searching probably, I mean, thousands and thousands of dollars worth of coin. Uh, I've gone through, I don't even know, 10,000 and quarters at least, and maybe 5,000 in dimes. Um, but I pulled out, I just pull out anything that's kind of interesting. Obviously, any of the silver. Uh, I've been keeping the wheat pennies. Um, I find quite a bit, oh, I've got a little, <laughs> I put my little silver bar in there. But, uh, some cool stuff. So, let's look through a couple. Um, obviously, I, I pull stuff like this. Um, just a pretty nice condition, 1964 nickel. Um, not perfect, but this, when you're when you're uh, coin roll hunting, it's all about conditions. So if you see one that and it stands out, uh, when you look at a bunch of other 1964s, this is a pretty nice um, one. But I think the the real winner is is this one as far as condition goes. Uh, it's pretty good. I mean, the luster is good. That is a 1945 silver nickel, which is in pretty good condition. A little dusty. You know, this, you can see it's worn still on the back, but really nice on the front. Silver nickel. I've got a bunch of them. A bunch of old silver war nickels. They stand out in the roll pretty good. There's a nice um, 1966 penny. Um, but you know, just uh, this is what you get out of lots and lots and lots of coin rolls. Wheat pennies, different ones that were just toned, some silver quarters, um, just kind of whatever. I picked up um, one of the, the big dollar coins. Pretty neat. I just picked that one up. A um, couple of couple of halves. So some Kennedy halves. One. Uh, one walker, 44 walker, that I picked up. I don't remember. Pretty sure somebody sold these to me. But got them for pretty cheap. But they're silver dimes. I got, let's see, here's a really nice 1962. And some other random stuff. Just anything I thought was neat, I've been uh, setting aside and keeping. Couple of the Wheaties. There's a 49. I know I've got some 40s and some. I got like one that's in the 20s. Yeah, there's a 1929. Weep Lincoln cent. So, pretty cool. That's the stuff from all the coin roll hunting and just stuff I've been picking up here and there. Alright, so here's the bigger lot of uh, silver coin. This was all bought at an estate sale and I paid up for it. I, you know, figured they would be pricing right around spot, which they did. And I do know this company and they know me and they know I'm willing to buy. So they were just like, you know, let me know what you're interested in and we'll cut you a deal. So I started picking out uh, what I wanted. And uh, this is what I got. So I spent right around 400, a little over 400, 420 uh, for all this stuff. And uh, first thing I bought was the dimes. So there was like four or five rolls of dimes that I could see in the pictures that they were probably silver. 
and uh, they had them priced at I think fifty dollars a roll uh, with about I'm not sure how many coins and these weren't like full like your standard five dollar roll of dimes but um, I don't know I, I just thought eh, it's a pretty good deal but can you guys do a little bit better um, and I think they came down to like 200 or something for all of the um, silver dimes so and there's all the silver dimes they're all pretty much all of them are Canadian um, so these are just your random uh, Canadian dimes so there's like some of the um, I guess like mackerel ones in here and some of the newer ones I know the lighting is not that great I'm sorry camera but so there is some older ones um, I looked through and I don't see any that are like outstanding in condition um, oh, see there's one with the uh, I guess that's called ma a mackerel back one or something like that but anyway that is about 312 sounds right to me I countered them a while ago but that's all silver dimes and I got a pretty good deal on them so uh, that was the first half of the deal so here's the bigger silver that I bought again I spent around maybe 200 220 for this grouping um, and some pretty good stuff in here um, I'm gonna get the rings out of the way first um, these are really nice uh, gold filled and sterling rings I think they've got a maker's mark on them. Yeah, I think these are Uncas rings. But they wanted five bucks a piece for them, so I took them all. Really nice, um, big size uh, men's rings uh, with the nice kind of, eh, probably not, it's kind of like an Art Deco style, but these are probably made more in the 40s or 50s, I would think. Maybe later. But really nice those I know someone's gonna want but I'm kinda holding on to these for right now um, just in case this, this would make like a really good um, set to like give as gifts or something um, so I picked those up I thought for sure I mean they they didn't care about these at all there's all these silver coins um, they didn't care about the rings so those were a good deal um, let's get back to these coins move some of these I'll show you this one the bar this is my first uh, silver bar that I've bought um, you don't see these too often um, this one is sterling silver so it says 1000 grains Sterling silver. Let's see. Oh, maybe you guys can see that better than I can. But 1,000 grains sterling. I actually didn't know that it was sterling, and the 1,000 grains thing kind of threw me off too. So I figured, eh, it's like a two ounce bar um, of sterling. So I don't know. But I think I paid uh, either. 40 or 50 for this um, which is just maybe over spot on it but uh, I don't have a bar and I really wanted a bar so I bought one pretty cool um, a grouping of coins uh, a lot of silver halves uh, most of these are the same type of coin I've looked all this stuff up um, kind of briefly. Some of these are 800, some of them are like 0 .900 and 0 .925, some of them. But um, there's that half. 
Again, nothing like crazy. Condition is pretty good, but you can find these these 1954s in really good shape. Um, there's a little bit nicer one, and I don't know, you know, who all these people are. I know it's all the English princes and princesses and queens and kings and whatever, but there's another one. And another half. 1953. I think I was uh, surprised when I found out that most of the Canadian ones aren't like sterling or, or a higher purity because um, that did hurt the value a little bit, but I still came out with a good deal. So just silver dime. There's another half. What year is that one? 1942. So that's a pretty good one. And a 65. Half. Some quarters, Canadian silver quarters, again, no, I'm not really going to be selling any of this right now, but still pretty cool. I got one walker in the whole lot, pretty much all of it was Canadian. Uh, more Canadian. Um, there's a couple of silver Kennedy halves. But you get you get the picture. Uh, most of it just quarters and whatever, but I did get a couple of dollars. details I can. These were the real uh, the real money that were most that could potentially be worth more than scrap or these silver dollars I'm sure. Uh, I remember this one. Kind of a neat one. And 63 Got some gunk on it. And then this one, which I'm pretty sure is the best coin in the whole lot that I got. Uh, just because it's an earlier year. So this is a 1938. It's a scarcer date Canadian dollar. And the condition, it's not like amazing, but it's better than most that I see out there. Most of them are pretty worn for a 38. The date is nice and clear, um, so that was neat. And then just a couple of other, I think this is like a quarter, I don't know why this was in a case. And then I got this one for like five bucks or something, I was just like a proof proof coin for five bucks. Um, this is like a, oh, is it 800? Yeah, so it was marked 800 silver, 800 proof coin for five bucks. Um, this is just like a series of coins that they did of like famous um, artists and stuff. So that was pretty neat. Uh, oh, I did get one. This Merc was pretty cool. I can get it to focus. This is a 1942. And I know that the 42 and the 41, there was like an error with an overdate. And this one does not have the error. But would have made it a couple hundred dollar coin if it did. Um, so that's pretty much everything. So I got uh, the silver bar, silver quarters, silver half dollars, a couple of silver dollars, some uh, proofs, um, some rings, uh, all my coin roll hunting um, silver uh, there. So that's all the silver from coin roll hunting, rings, half dollars, and then a whole bunch of silver Canadian dimes. Uh, all in all, I think I totaled um, up this stuff. I paid 420 and it was worth like 
I don't know, 600, 650 at melt. So um, with the this uh, silver dollar is probably worth uh, 50 or 60 bucks, and the silver bar is you know worth a decent amount. So overall, really good deal on the silver. Going to pick it up all day long if I get a deal. Uh, so that's my video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's going to be a long one. Uh, please remember to subscribe. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, thanks for watching. So the short story on uh, what I've been doing is basically I got a new job. And that's 9 to 5, you know, 5 days a week. So that's been taking a lot of my time. Um, I got a new apartment. I got a new car. And I also recently got promoted, so that's been taking up a majority of my time and just really don't have a whole lot of time to go to garage sales and state sales. Um, if I do get to go, it's like, you know, one sale really early in the morning before work or, you know, I get maybe one Saturday, two Saturdays a month off and I'll try and go to some garage sales, um, but just been super busy. Uh, I've been getting a lot of comments. I've been reading all your comments. Um, want to address a couple of them really quick. Just uh, get a lot of comments asking if things in my older videos are for sale. Uh, all of that stuff has been that stuff's been sold a long time ago. I've, I've got videos from 2014, 2015. People are like, "Do you still have that?" Um, some people even saying that you know that stuff is worth so much more now than it was before. Um, man, I sold that stuff so long ago. I mean, as soon as I got it, I probably would, would have sold it the next week. Um, just, just because it was at the time I needed the money and, you know, that was my full-time job, basically, and stuff just had to go. Um, and then I get, I've been getting some requests to do some, uh, more informational type videos. Uh, I plan on doing them at some point. I've been probably saying that for a long time, um, just to kind of go over the basics of, you know, what to look for at garage sales, how to tell if something's valuable or not, and, um, you know, the avenues that I use to look for stuff, the the stuff where I, where do I sell, um, I get that a lot, uh, I've got a lot of people saying, like, on some of my old stuff, oh, that gold is fake, oh, this is fake, that's fake, you know, <laughs> that stuff's been sold so long ago, it was, you know, the videos don't show all of the details, and uh, the markings and stuff. And none of my stuff that I've sold has been fake, so um, I, I get that occasionally. So anyway, hopefully some more videos to come. Uh, hopefully I'll find something good and I can share it with you guys. I just really haven't found anything like super interesting, so I, at least to me. So I haven't really made videos about it. Just it's not worth the time. But I've got some decent stuff now. I mean, this is like months and months and months of picking stuff up. Uh, the coins I picked up uh, about a month ago um, and got a good price on them. I'm not going to sell them. They're going in my coin collection. So, you know. Uh, yeah. Thanks for watching.